LEGO fans, it's Steven from Majorspoilers.com, and this week, Jurassic World LEGO. The movie's coming, or it's already in theaters, depending on where you live. This week, we're looking at set 75918. It's the T-Rex Tracker. Now, I've been playing with the Raptors for a while in other sets from the Dino Collection from a long time ago, but I've never seen a T-Rex before, and I can't wait to open this box and see what's inside. Now, one thing that I will point out that's unique about the Jurassic World Collection, unlike other LEGO sets that we've seen in the past that are tie-ins to movies or to properties, we're not seeing the same figures pop up time and time again. So we're not seeing a million Batman figures, we're not seeing a million Iron Man figures. If you want every one of the main characters from the Jurassic World movie in Lego form, you're going to have to buy all of the Jurassic World sets. This one comes with uh, Hoskins, an ACU soldier, and a vet. And it also comes with a giant T-Rex. This is 520 pieces. It won't take very long to put together. It does look a little complex because of some technique pieces, but let's cut to the, uh, to the time lapse and see how it puts together. I'm trapped in a cage. Animals should be let free to roam and run. What do I know? I got little tiny arms. It's at 75918. It's the T-Rex tracker. This is a massive truck. I mean, this is really a two-person truck, but oh my gosh, this is probably one of the biggest vehicles that we've seen. And I guess it needs to be if you're going to be transporting a giant T-Rex around. So first, Let's take off this part, which is the cage for our T-Rex and set it aside for the moment. And let's talk about the truck itself. It has giant wheels, giant mud flaps. It has a place for two or more figures to sit in the front. I will say that it is a little difficult at times to get the minifigure in through the top because you have to reach way far down to get that minifigure in place. And I'm really surprised that the minifigure can even see out the front window of the truck. On one side, you have a place for your ACU soldier or worker or whoever these characters are to sit on a firing mechanism, which does shoot out a, a little projectile unit. What I like about the ACU minifigure that comes in this set is it's not just a generic guy figure, it's a generic girl figure. And I like the fact that girls and guys can be part of this soldier unit that uh, Jurassic World employs. Uh, I love the helmet. I love the helmet better when you take the shield off because it looks kind of like a retro 1930s uh, helmet, but I kind of like that style a lot. We've seen that with other Lego sets as well. With, this set also comes with Hoskins. I don't know much about this character in the movie, but he does kind of look like someone who is up to no good. Maybe it's because of his beard and mustache or that briefcase that he's carrying, and we don't know what's inside the briefcase. The final minifigure that comes with this set is a vet, and he comes with a giant hat. He also comes with a little poker so that he can poke the dinosaurs, and he's got a torch, I guess, because uh, the T-Rex, as we know from the Jurassic Park movie, is attracted to light and movement, so maybe that plays some role in the movie. On the other side of the truck, we have a place for a motorcycle to be attached. This is just your generic motorcycle that we've seen time and time again, but it's nice to see that it can be all attached and detached from the truck as needed. On the back of the truck, we have three units. We have a little satellite array. We have a computer, and I like the computers that come in this Jurassic World collection because of the way that they've created the flat screen approach with the keyboard and the mount and everything into one piece. And then finally, we also have a little safe that we can put our uh, tranquilizer darts inside. Surprisingly, the way the wheels are attached to this truck doesn't allow for a lot of mobility. I mean, the wheels do turn, but you can tell that there's a lot of friction in there, and if you roll it, it's not going to roll very far on its own. So that's probably one negative about this overall truck. It is solid, though. I mean, you can drop this thing, and it's not going to come apart. I mean, granted, that was three inches. If you drop it off of eight feet uh, side of a wall or something, I'm sure that it's going to break into a million pieces. Let's talk about the cage that contains the T-Rex. 
This is kind of the, the part that will take the most time, I think, to put together because there's all these little technique pieces that you have to put together in order to get the cage to work. The cage is really cool because you flip down two little uh, pieces on the side, and that, of course, allows the cage to open up and allows you to get your T-Rex in and out. And then, of course, you can close it all back up, keep your T-Rex contained, and the world is safe, at least until it gets out. The cage itself sits on the back of the truck, which it should. I mean, this makes this entire set completely portable, so you can get all the figures, the uh, T-Rex and everything, into one unit and take it with you if you want to go on the road with your kids and they want to bring something along and have a little fun. Let's talk about the T-Rex, my favorite piece in this entire collection. It is a massive piece of plastic. There are a couple of things that I like, and there are a couple of things I don't like about the T-Rex. First of all, its size. This is one of the biggest dinosaurs that I have seen. Now, granted, we've got another big dinosaur coming down the line, but this is a big dinosaur. Its head moves left, right, up and down, and you can open and close its jaws, and it looks scary. That part's a lot of fun. The legs move like you expect them to move. They're just attached at the hip, so you can move the dinosaur around if you need to. And on the bottom, there are some receptacles to accept the traditional Lego stud if you want to mount it onto the plate or if you want to mount it onto the cage in the back so that it doesn't wobble or wiggle around. The one thing that I kind of don't like about the T-Rex is if you move it up too high, if you tilt it back too high, if you want him to get a really big roar going on, I found the tail pops off quite a bit, and that was kind of a disappointment for me. I was kind of hoping that the tail would have a little bit of flex, but this thing just slides in and out uh, pretty easily and was kind of a, a turnoff for me in the end. But overall, this is a very cool dinosaur, and again, it's my favorite in this set. Set 75918, it's the T-Rex Tracker. I think this set has a lot of playability. It's going to keep you entertained for hours, whether you're chasing the T-Rex down or whether the T-Rex is chasing everyone else down. A lot of little features with the characters, uh, with things that pop off and slide off on the truck. Of course, the T-Rex is my favorite. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use the comment section below. We love reading your comments here at Major Spoilers. If you want to follow us on Twitter, we're at Major Spoilers, and be sure to visit our website, Majorspoilers.com. And if you're looking to buy this set for yourself or for someone that you know or for your kids, there is a link that will take you to our Amazon affiliate page where you can buy it there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.